I wanted to talk about an introduction to Microsoft Viva Toolkit, uh, which is there uh, designed to kickstart your Microsoft Viva extensibility experience. And, and I'm going to talk about the, the positioning, why and how and what does it actually do. The SharePoint framework is really intended to be the easiest way to build your enterprise solution for Microsoft 365 using pro code methods. So, of course, you can build your enterprise solutions using Power Platform. That's absolutely a fine option as well. But SharePoint Framework is then for pro development. Power Platform is for no-code, low-code uh, options. And really, the, the benefits is the automatic single uh, sign-on, automatic hosting, which is by far the most widely, uh, let's say, raised benefit. And actually, one pretty recently raised uh, consideration was that many of our partners are saying that customers are willing rather than uh, rather willing to use SharePoint Framework because the code is actually hosted within their tenant. So you're not accessing or allowing an application externally from Azure or AWS accessing your tenant. No, no, the code itself is hosted in the customer tenant. So it's super secure, compliance and everything else taken into account. Consistent development experience and it is, it is industry standard tooling using TypeScript and uh, WebStack development. And like, uh, like we covered uh, already in the past as well, uh, using the SharePoint Framework, we can nowadays do much, much, much more. Uh, so it's not just for SharePoint. Uh, it's for Microsoft Viva. It's for Teams. It's for Outlook and Microsoft 365. And actually, even more is coming. So there's a lot of, lot of cool stuff uh, in the roadmap and in the pipeline. Now, in this case, we want to talk about uh, the Microsoft Viva extensibility options. And, and I wanted to actually do some graphical slides first to, to showcase what are we explicitly talking here. So the Microsoft Viva Toolkit is a Visual Studio code extension, which is targeted to simplify the Microsoft Viva extensibility. So creating these ACES, adaptive card uh, components, which basically are those card style uh, components, which, which you can see in the Microsoft, uh, sorry, the Viva Home on the left side, or in the, in the mobile experiences, or in the Viva connection experience on the right side. Um, so you will see us rolling out the Viva Home gradually. Uh, and then, of course, we have the same card, same extensibility options, same ACES, an option to do mobile, desktop, uh, tablet views are coming pretty soon and all of that stuff. So there's a lot of, lot of benefits, a lot of investments from the Microsoft side around these ACEs. Now, as you use SharePoint Framework to build the Microsoft Viva extensibility, why did we actually create the Viva Toolkit? Now, a lot of the partners who started building extensibility for Microsoft Viva don't necessarily have a previous knowledge about SharePoint Framework or previous knowledge about web parts, previous knowledge about Microsoft 365. So we wanted to actually build a tool which simplifies the getting started and experience. So you can basically just install the tool from the Visual Studio Code extension gallery, and it will help you to actually get started. So it will show you how to get started. It will link to the docs. It will check your environment, it will automatically install all of the, the dependencies. Um, and those are really important thing for us as well as a Microsoft, because quite often, as we see in the SharePoint framework issue list, where people are having issues, those issues are quite often related on environmental uh, setups or some dependencies are missing. So we wanted to have a tool which will make it easy for any developer, just click a button, and it will install the needed uh, environment uh, variables, environment setup, and it, you can always check that this environment ready to go or not, and it will actually fix itself uh, as well. We also wanted to provide a sample and scenario-based start. So basically, if you're looking into building an ACE, an adaptive card extensibility uh, for Viva, which is connecting for Craft, you can actually select that scenario as a starting point, and you'll actually have immediately a solution which is connecting to the Craft with code to our step-by-step uh, -step guidance. So you will be explained what are we doing in the code and, and then basically explained how to get stuff done. So objective here is, is really to simplify development. Now, there is a slide for this one uh, in, the, in the later starts, uh, so, but I wanted to maybe mention this one already in here. So what, if you are familiar with SharePoint Framework, why would you use something like this as a Visual Studio Code? Well, you don't have to. This is completely optional. And this is something which overlays automation from the Yeoman generator, from the, the SharePoint framework Yeoman generator, which we as a Microsoft are providing, and CLI for Microsoft 365. So all of the features and capabilities what you see within the Viva Toolkit is, are already available in GA, either from CLI for Microsoft 365 or uh, as a shipped SharePoint framework Yeoman generator. What it does, however, do is that you don't need to remember the commands in the command line if you do, 
ORCID, you can keep on doing the command line. But for the new developers, um, this is really intended to make it easier for them to get started, easier to get access on the, for example, just where is my app catalog in this terrain? Well, you can just click the URL and it will get opened uh, within, the, within the browser. So really trying to simplify the development experience. Um, and of course, we're trying to make it easier for everybody to deploy, test, and automate, have the documentation in place, and make it, make it super, super sweet. I will show a lot of this stuff uh, in the live demo. As mentioned, I know if you already know the Yeoman General, why would you have used this? You don't have to. You, you definitely don't need to use uh, this toolkit uh, if you don't want to. Um, what, what I'm seeing, even in my personal usage, is that I, well, it, it actually starts helping me. It, it, I can quickly go and test the extension, click a button, and it will do some things rather than going to the command line. It's a matter of a preference. Uh, behind of the scenes, again, it's always using the official Yeoman generator or the CLI for Microsoft 365. So it's not doing anything which anything surprising. It's just this simplification, abstraction on top of the command line. Now, once available within the Viva, uh, Viva Toolkit, uh, we have a connected uh, connected to your tenant option, so you can actually easily see operations and the URLs within your tenant, so you can sign in against the tenant. I'll show you that one in practice. You can do the environment validation, which is a super important thing as well, mentioned already, uh, so double checking that I have the required dependencies in place and all of that stuff. I can install the, the dependencies, so if something is missing, I can click a button and it, the, the tooling will make sure that my environment is ready to go, which is super, super cool. It does uh, uh, support updating of the solution uh, with CLI for Microsoft 365. So again, behind the scenes, a lot of this automation is using the standardized command line tooling, which you would be using anyway, but it's just behind of a button, behind of the click and click, uh, click through. Uh, start from scenario and sample, which is really, really cool. Uh, you can see an example related on call Microsoft Graph to get data uh, in a code tour, uh, step number three. And so basically we have a step-by-step -step guidance which is explaining, this is what we're doing here, this is why it's important, here's additional information. Um, and this actually works in any SharePoint framework project, which is quite interesting. So of course we prioritize the Viva with this one, but if you open the Viva toolkit in top of or in a solution in a solution folder with SharePoint framework in it or SharePoint framework solution, it actually gives you already additional value. And I'll show you that one in a second as well. So it does adapt on any SharePoint framework project. Let's have a look on uh, this one in practice. So let's start by looking into where can you get it. Uh, it is still in preview um, and it's been available for a while. We haven't actually promoted this too much, uh, but we wanted to actually do a recap on the promotion and then see uh, when we will actually release the 1.0 version of this. Now, this is community created. We as a Microsoft, we do coordinate some of this work. We help with the work, but there's it's primarily led by the community, which by the way, is open for contributions. We'll come back on that one in a second as well. But we want to make sure that this is an open source project where anybody can actually come and provide their contributions. And, and you can see openly what's happening within this. It is an overlay on top of the human generator and the tooling as mesh. Now, if you go to the uh, Visual Studio uh, code extensions uh, listing and you search for Viva, you will actually find that this one as the default entry there. Uh, you will need to do Installed to preview version uh, because there is no release version available at this moment. So you can already use it and it is safe to use it. So it's basically, again, as it's an overlay on top of SPFX, there's no additional gimmicks, there's no additional operation, what it actually is doing behind of the scenes. So it's, it's actually safe to be used even in production usage, which is pretty, pretty cool. But officially, we want to still test out things and make sure that it's super polished before we release a 1.0 version of this tooling. Now, as it's being then installed, it's actually visible right now as that uh, icon on the left menu. We'll probably change that a bit, the icon, uh, whenever the, the timing, well, whenever we have time to do that. And if I click that one, we can actually see the main operations which are available uh, with the Viva Connection Toolkit. So it is adapting similar way as the Teams Toolkit, and I'll come back on what does that mean in practice in the future. Now, we can start creating a Viva Connection project, um, and it will actually start going through the Yeoman Generator question. So basically, where do we want to save this? What is the name? What is the solution? All of that stuff. One option, or 
Alternatively, you can actually create from scenario, and these are the code tour scenarios uh, provided by us by Waldeck. Waldeck already did the previous demo today, which is cool. Thank you, Waldeck, on the awesome work on this. Or you can actually have a look on the view samples, and these are the ACE samples, adaptive card samples, which are available, uh, and you can actually start from any of the existing sample. As you download the sample down, it will automatically update all of the goods and settings and everything else so that the solution which you created is not hard copy of the sample with the same matching solution ideas and all of that. No, no, it's actually a fresh new solution with that code which is in place. So it really makes it easy for you to get started on, on top of any of the existing sample which we have available. Or I can actually check the dependencies, which is really cool. So I can double check my environment. Uh, quite often people have whatever confusion versions or whatever is available. And I can I can double check this anything. My environment is ready to go. And you can actually see the messages then that, well, in my case, I have obviously everything installed. And then as said, I can start from scenario and create the solution. Now, in my case, I already created the solution to save some time. Um, and the solution is already available here. It is a typical A solution open in, in the right side. And of course, I, it's, it is a typical SPFX solution. Again, you can use terminal, you can use your command line, but if you want to, you can go to the um, extension and then it will give you additional set of operation. As an example, you can sign into your tenant and after that it will automatically detect where the app catalog is. And if I need to open up the app catalog, I'll just click to you, click the URL and voila, I'm in the app catalog. So I can easily operate between my development, my experiences, all of that. Um, I can easily uh, do uh, deployment of the solution, which will automatically deploy that to the app catalog. It will detect automatically things. Uh, we can do upgrade solution. Technically, right now, there's a small delay because of dependencies of versions with CLI uh, for Microsoft 365, but that's that's working as well. And I can easily access the documentation and samples and adaptive card designer uh, tooling as well. So making it super, again, easy uh, for developers to do this. Now, we're not going to spend too much time from a timing perspective uh, in here, but what I wanted to actually show is this one. Um, so, uh, ba, 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 ba. and we'll, by the way, have a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of more samples available and videos around this tooling uh, pretty soon. But as an example, the code which Waldeck showed you was the SPFX productivity Please dashboard. Yeah, Please I know, I know, those. I know. Uh, the point of this one, thank you, Waldeck, for being me. Uh, point is not what's on the code, uh, what's on that screen. So that's why I didn't actually increase that, but fair point. Now, the sample which Waldeck showed us is an SPFX solution. And that was a web part with a Teams part it, with the manifest and, and all of that stuff. Well, this is a bit of a different, uh, oh, it is actually manifest version 1.14. Now, what's really cool about the Viva uh, toolkit is that it actually can be used with any SPFX solution. So let me actually go one step back. Whenever the extension starts, there we go. Now we can actually see it and I can activate that and voila. I have detection of my tenant, detection of app catalog. I can do bundled uh, the packages. I can do all of the different operations uh, to any of the SPFX solutions as well. So it's not just about Viva, but it is primarily designed for increasing the Viva adaption or making the Viva adaption uh, easier. Now, from a dynamic tiny perspective, like I said, uh, I'm not going to go too detailed on the scenarios. I wanted to add this, this to be more kind of an intro on what we have and what's available and how to get started. But then the question might be, what about alignment with Teams Toolkit? Yes. So what we're doing here is that we're basically doing a piloting and a proof of concept with Viva Toolkit. In the longer term, we are already aligned with the Teams Toolkit people that some of these learnings and some of the techniques what we're doing here are getting hopefully integrated in Teams Toolkit. And then the Teams Toolkit is extending for the Microsoft Viva as well. So making it kind of the one unified development story for Microsoft 365. So our intention is not to provide a competitor rather as a incubation tool, a testing tool uh, to see is there a demand for this kind of tooling for SPFX, uh, more efficient SPFX all up for all of the SPFX scenarios and for Viva. And then we'll adapt all of those learnings directly in the Teams toolkit uh, based on the feedback. Now, how would you get started on this one? Uh, really simple URL, AKMS forward slash Viva forward slash code. Uh, that is the location where you can actually find the extension. It is in preview. You can use it in production uh, because it uses published SPFX version behind of the scenes. Again, it, it does not do anything uh, crazy uh, behind, uh, or hidden things. Uh, we would love to have feedback and issues uh, reported at github.com uh, slash pmp slash VS code Viva. That is the actual location and the project where this is done. Now, this is an open source 
community driven uh, project. So we would love to have your contributions and ideas and feedback uh, uh, shared. And then we're looking into uh, establishing a maintenance team together with our community members as well. We'll talk about more on that most likely after the holiday season as we get more videos out about this one. And then we establish the maintenance team as place. But if you're interested in doing this kind of uh, VS Code extensions, we would love to get you involved uh, in this project as well. Thank you.